Ah, uh, you're back to another episode of Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last episode, we may or may not have gotten stuck on an optional puzzle. This time, I want to check something real quick in Jellyfish Fields. This last, um, thing, I have an idea of how to solve it. I can't guarantee that this will work, but I want to try it anyway. Now... I feel like a new sponge! Okay. Cha -ching! So my bubble bowl can... hit those things. Which I think like those are... Breeze. what we need to drain the lake. Yeah. I wish I had realized this... like 7,000... times sooner. Because it's literally a really short and sweet, uh, spatula that we could have had, like, three hours ago. Anyway. Talk to the computer. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. How did that not count? It's because I hit the spatula? It's gotta be. Now what? You should go help Mermaid Man. He's in the villain containment area. Okay, how do I get there? Oh! A new pathway opened up. Oh yeah, yep. We have all but one. Oh, that's an invisible wall. I thought it was a full path. <laughs> Whoops. The security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justin Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh no. It looks like one of the villains has broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn! Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, prawn. I shall not rest until you are captured! But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man! You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! Okay. What am I doing? Oh, he's like tiny. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Alright. Okay. I get it. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like... Shit. 
I have one health to do this entire boss battle. That's bullshit. <laughs> Try that again. It's neat, it's just really dumb. In conjunction with this guy's attack, it's dumb. Wait, 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 wait. You mean the creepy pasta, Kim? Oh, please, game. Shit. He has one hit left. Please, game. Just let me have this. Okay, we got him. Okay. So I got two achievements in the Mermelair. Uh, shrimp catching and uh, keep it rolling. And I just didn't announce either of them. Because I was a little preoccupied with the rolling one. That's... I mean, there are still some socks here, but that's... All of the... Uh... All of the spatulas in the mermaid Let's head back to the rest home. Ah, uh, Checkers! The king of non-contact sports! Oh my god, he's watching an episode of Spongebob. That's, this is the episode when Spongebob and Sandy get, um... Uh, overzealous with their karate. Is that the name of the episode? Because I honestly can't remember.
I mean, it sounds like it would be. I don't know what convinced me to hit the TV, but I figured it was worth a shot. Okay... So... We could go to Sand Mountain... Or we could see what's in the police station. Or we could hit the rock bottom. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got built? 4,500. We have... 2,400. So we're not doing that. Uh... Mm, yeah, we could do Sand Mountain. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Okay. Or if you're Patrick, losing all your limbs. Word, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess. And now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal! So Squidward just has a bunch of golden spatulas that he's hiding from Spongebob. You've just met the Sponginator. Oh, sparkly! Alright. First slot, first slope. Probably for bribes, I guess. I've gone down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Sure. 70 seconds. Okay. I love opening presents. Well, shit. I've gone down. Yeah, shut up. Oh my god, how did I survive that? Uh, hey! I hate that. That really hurt. That really. I've gone mm.
Okay, I think I made it. I feel like a new sponge. Okay. All right, let's head back to the top. Congratulations! You pass with flying colors. I'm surprised there was no joke about his driver's license. Alright, now I gotta go back down because there was a sock there that I want. Ow. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Two socks, apparently. Because that wasn't even the sock that I was thinking of. I was thinking of was this one. And I also wanted to know what that button is. That was further up, though, so I already missed it. I'm going to die. Wait a second. There was a spatula down there. What? <laughs> Where did this come from? Alright. Uh, give me... Go Spongebob! Go Spongebob! Go Spongebob! Go self. This time, let's make sure to hit that button. I love opening presents. It shines. Oh! Oh my God! Okay, I wish I had known about that. Take that. That makes our life just a little bit easier. But. We already did everything here, so there's no reason to, uh, need it. Just would have been nice on the actual attempts. That was another sock! Wait, no, come back! Glad to have this 
Okay, I think this time that's everything here. Oh, just wait, this is only level one. There are three levels of this. Sandy for that. Um, uh -huh. Nope, I missed that. Is there a bus stop somewhere? Maybe in one of the slopes? Okay, oh! Bus stop's right here. You don't say. Well, there must be a way up there. I have no idea what Gary was trying to say to Sandy, but whatever. Kim, what? things you could be. That's all I'll say. Hello, my most favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh, boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. I already did it. I mean, look, Nick, it was either going to be you or me. Keep up the good work, buddy of mine! And don't forget to help me out with the chum bucket! Nick, it was either going to be you or me, and I'm glad it's not me. Ow. You've just met the Spongenator. That is not what I'm saying. But I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Anyway, level 2. Flounder Hill. I fly like the wind and float like a sea bee. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Sure. 110 seconds. Oh god, there are spikes. I love opening presents. Ouch! 
It shines. I feel like a new sponge. I'm going to friggin' die, dude. Like a spring breeze. Okay, I have two hits now. Honestly, this is not as bad as the final slide level in the movie game. That was insane. I think I'm gonna get this. I feel like a new sponge. Something just tells me that. Nope. My god. I mean if I didn't hit all of the um Fresh like a spring breeze. I feel like a new If I didn't sponge. hit all of those spikes, I maybe could have done it. What? Wait, what is the question? Well, I've played the movie game. I have not played the original Battle for Bikini Bottom, but I have played the movie game. And I've listened to, um... I've listened to people over the time. Fresh like a spring breeze. Hey there. Howdy. Oh, I have to be SpongeBob to accept the time trial. That's stupid. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie game, Kim. It was based on the same engine that this was made on. Or it was made with this game's engine, I should say. What was your goal, Kim? No, not Atlanta Square Pandas. 2004 movie. Oh my god, spikes, please. I feel like a new sponge. Oof, I almost fell. It's when SpongeBob and Co. go to Atlantis. It was... It was him, Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Sandy... And I think that's it. I 
I don't think I got this. I was so close. Oh, that's right. Plankton was a stowaway. I don't think it was through his sock. Didn't he stow away in, in the bus that took them there? How many do I need to get to level 3? 1500? Okay. Give me your shiny objects. You too. Give me your shiny objects. Ugh. Oh no. I don't like the look of this. All right. I'm the fastest there is. My time down this slope is unbeatable. I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. Yeah. Next time on Battle for Bikini Bottom, we'll be taking on the final level of the slopes. Like a See you guys then.